We're on question number 228. So first we need to look at how to calculate the number of consecutive integers. Now if you remember the equation for the number of consecutive integers was the last number minus the first number plus 1. All right, so back to our question. We're going to start with picking a point from y. So how many are there in total first? We take 16 minus 6 plus 1, which is 11. And for x, this is the range for x. So how many integers are there? We have 5 minus minus 4 plus 1, which equals 10. And if we get the total number of options, we multiply 10 by 11, so we get 110. So out of 110, we are picking out one point. And here we have point P. And we need to find points X and Y, which will not coincide with one point P. So we're left with nine choices for y and we're also left with ten choices for y. That's because point P already occupied one point. So this point is represented by this equation and this point will be this one and this end will be this one. So how many combinations, how many different triangles can we construct? 110 times 9 times 10 equals 9900. So our answer is choice C.